Good morning. Rob Lytle here again. Just seeing how you're doing in this quest and your goals uh, for self-improvement and a better life in 2020, uh, which we talk about being perfect vision. Uh, as I was on a bike ride this morning, I went about 35 miles out here in eastern Carolina, eastern North Carolina. Uh, it's about 32 degrees out here. And uh, I got up, got the kids off the school, wife went to work um, before I had to go and start um uh, doing some things in my own personal business. I wanted to get my uh, physical fitness out of the way, so I decided to go on a bike track this morning. And uh, it was freezing. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, man, you know, probably just like the last week, a couple of weeks ago when it was raining, it would have been nice just to stay in. You know, I put my feet up, check some emails, and start getting to work. But I made a commitment my, to myself last night. But what helped me decide to go through what my commitment today was my attitude. I woke up with the proper attitude. And attitude is everything, isn't it? In life, in business, both personal and professional, the right attitude will get you through most things at the top. And I say that because I woke up happy, ready to go. Um, you know, I used to tell Marines all the time, you know, nobody can give you good morale. It's not a, a tangible kind of little item that I can just package up nice and, and give it to you. It's something you have to wake up with. You have to wake up ready to go. And, and it starts with the night prior, the preparation. You know, what do you pray about? Uh, what, what do you uh, read? What are you reading prior to go, uh, hitting the rack, uh, prior to the lights out? Are you getting a good night's sleep so you have the energy the next day to get up to accomplish the task and the, and the mission that you have for yourself that next day? And it really comes down to the proper attitude and putting yourself in the position uh, of the elite, an elite mindset uh, through attitude. And, uh, you know, Earl Nightingale used to say attitude is the, the most important um, word in any language. And it really is because it sets the tone for our life. It sets the tone to where we want to accomplish and how we get there. And there's going to be bad days. And then during those bad days, the right attitude will help you persevere. And I'll tell you this, uh, this, I say all that to say this. In 2020, you know, we're coming to the end of January. It's the first month in. What's your attitude like? Are you open to new ideas? Are you staying committed to the commitments you made to yourself? Are you staying committed to the commitments you made to other people? Are you contributing to somebody else's growth as you grow? These things are important because our attitude dictates the outcome in most circumstances, how we approach it, how we look at it. You know, I used to think, you know, the glass half full approach is the best way. You know, glass half full, man, positive attitude all the time. Glass half full. You know, and then you have the other side of the spectrum where people look at it as the glass half uh, empty. But I realized as I had turbulence up and down through my life, you know, it doesn't matter whether the glass is half full or half empty if you're holding the pitcher. If you're holding that pitcher, and when the glass gets half empty, you can fill it up. And you keep overflowing yourself. And that comes with the right attitude. And I, and I believe that the best attitude is holding the pitcher. Well, I hope this week finds you great. Keep grinding it out. It's Thursday. We've got a couple more days to go, the rest of the day and tomorrow to go for the weekend. And then before you know it, we'll be in February, month two of 2020. Where are we at with our aspirations? Where are we at with our goals? And I hope that you're where you need to be and beyond. And I'll see you at the pinnacle.